So what I want to talk about now is how to play uh, rhythm guitar with your fingers, with no pick. So a couple different ways we can go about doing this. I want to show you a few of the ways that I go about it. Uh, let's see here. So we'll just take that C chord again. So a couple things we can do is we can, you can act like you have a pick in your hand. So sometimes I do that, you know. More times than not though, I'm going to just, if I'm going to just use my index finger, I'm just going to kind of hang here. And I'm just going to be brushing like this. And sometimes I'm going to get a little bit of the arm and elbow in there. Sometimes I'm just going to use my finger. Some of this stuff really comes down to the song or what it is you're trying to do. I feel like when I just use my index finger here, I can get a little bit of a lighter touch going on, right? So it's almost like my finger's just dangling here. And you know, with time, it gets easier to do. Now what I can do is I can start, you know, I like to flick at times too, or I'm going to use all three fingers to flick through the strings. And then, but typically when I come up, I'm going to come up with just the index finger. So it'd be something like this. So you can see I'm brushing them with, with the, all three of these fingers. And then as I come up, my index finger is what comes up. It's a little awkward to do three fingers coming up. So, so again, I'm just brushing. Right? So again, you could do this stuff with muted strings. Or just this, right? Okay, the next thing we can do is we can start incorporating our thumb um, into the equation here. Now you can start, now you're essentially going to start breaking up the strings a little bit more when you do something like this, right? So, we could do a couple things here. We could do a thumb pick on the, we're going to, I'm going to try to uh, hit all the bass or the root notes here of each chord. So I'm hitting the A string here for the C chord, right? And there I can... So now I'm using my index finger the way we were brushing before, but I'm, I'm incorporating the, the picking of the bass note instead of strumming it. So this is one and two and three and four, and so one and three I'm hitting this on. One and two and three and four and... Okay, we could claw or we could claw each of the bottom three strings if we want. I mean, you could come up two to these strings. So now I'm, so instead of strumming them here, I'm capturing the bottom three strings, ring finger, middle, index, and I have them pre-curled here, which makes it easier for me to just give a nice claw move, as we call it. And just for reference here, if you're new to this stuff, you might see in books um, the fingers on the right hand referred to uh, like Pima, P-I-M-A. So if you're, if you're wondering what that is, it's just P is, P is the thumb, I is the index, M is the middle, and A is the ring. So again, I'm just, I'm just clawing. It's again, you can hear the difference here of this versus uh, because here I'm actually hitting the bass note on every quarter note versus versus just strumming, right? And then what we could do is we could start incorporating the palm slap with this. So again, if I go back to the uh, just the brushing up of the strings we get. So here now I'm, beat one is down with the thumb on the bass note, and then up uh, on the end of one, one and, and then two is kind of a hit, it's a kind of a hit and a flick, so it's, as you can see, so I'm, I'm hitting, but my, I'm letting gravity just let the fingers 
fall through the strings. So it's like a hit and a strum at the same time, and then I'm coming right up uh, for the and of the one, one and two and. So I'm coming right up for the and of two. And that's just repeated, so it's one and two and three and four and, and two and three and four and one and two and three and you get that going. But obviously, you know, if you're new to this, you're gonna go very slowly first. Just get that motion going. Now some other things I like to do here is play hybrid style. And that's where I'm going to use the pick and mainly these, the ring, the middle finger and the ring and the ring finger. Um, it depends. Sometimes, you know, so there I'm I am actually using my pinky for something like that. A little uncomfortable for me still, but that almost sounds like a piano when you do something like that, right? Uh, for the most part though, I'm just using my middle and ring finger. So, you know, if I took a C chord, you know, you can see again how I can be, we're kind of uh, mimicking what we were just doing with, with just our fingers. That, but now I've got the pick. So again, you just, it's more options, just, you'll, this, uh, plain hybrid style can be, like most things again, can be very challenging at first and frustrating, but you do open up a whole uh, another world of possibilities as you get better at, at doing it. So some simple things you can do is just, you know, take any basic chord and, uh, so here I'm just picking uh, the bass note and then the middle finger on the G string and then the ring finger on the B string and then back to the D G string, so. And this is just a great way to, to help yourself. Uh, you could uh, reverse things um, change the order of the picking, all that will help you get um, better at doing it. You can start doing this, the pinching effect. Right? Um, let's see here. Uh, so put your Third uh, ring finger on the fifth fret of the D of the D string, and then your pointer finger on the third fret of the B string, and make sure the G string is open. So you get this uh, sound. So now here I'm just going to practice going forward. All right. So this is pick on the D, middle on the G, uh, ring on the B. I could reverse, I'm reversing this now. So now it's pick, ring, middle, pick, ring, middle. So this is a great little exercise to help you go forward and then reverse it. 